about the capital city. We're going to go now to News 19's Peyton Lewis. She's downtown outside of City Hall where uh, two county or uh, two city council seats were filled this evening, correct? Yes, sir. JR, tonight, Will Brennan and Tyler Bailey are celebrating victory. And I spoke with all of the candidates that were running for city council. But here's what the winners had to say. I'm excited about the future. This has been a long, hard fought race. More than 11,000 voters showed up to the polls in Richland County on Tuesday to vote for Columbia City Council's at-large seat with 54% of the votes ultimately going to Tyler Bailey. And what I want to do is bring people together to help the city. So it's not about just what I want, it's about what the people want and finding a way how we can re reach a consensus and how we can move Columbia together as a group. Bailey says gun violence is a big concern for him and will be a focal point for change he hopes to make similar to Will Brennan, who won the District 3 seat Tuesday, hoping to continue making an impact on public safety. Just a lot of continuing the same work that we did when we were on the campaign trail talking about our vision of focusing on the, the basic services, really the quality of life for every resident of the city of Columbia. We've gotten a lot done, and I think that's the biggest thing. You know, you get elected, people believe in your vision, but getting reelected, you got receipts, you've done the hard work, and I'm really proud of that. And, and, and we have a lot to show for the hard work over the past four years. Infrastructure investments, believing in Chief Jenkins and, and Chief Holbrook, what they need to recruit and retain for public safety, and then investing in our rivers. It's, you know, the rivers are our future, and just so proud of what we've gotten done over the past four years, and man, it's gonna be great for the next four. More than 3,500 votes were counted in the District 3 race, with 84% going to Will Brennan. And we don't know when the start date for these candidates will be as of yet, but you can continue checking for those dates on our website at WLTX.com. And neither of these races will go into a runoff. Reporting in Columbia, Peyton Lewis, News 19 WLTX. Peyton, thank you.